this rant has been a long time coming. All right, what is this rant about? It is about the fact that I am so sick of all you gaming companies that release these games and give us this little piece of paper with very teeny, teeny, teeny instructions that we could barely read. Speak the truth now. Excellent. Yes. Rock and roll. Remember this: in this classroom, I am the judge, the jury, and the jailer. So the other day, I picked up Doom Slayer Collection, and it contains the very first Doom game from 1993, which is amazing. And I gotta say, it is aged super, super well. I mean, it's, you know, the first two games just look incredible in HD. I love it, absolutely fantastic. And it also has Crappy Part 3, which I was not a fan of, so I will not be playing that one. But it also has the 2016 remake. So, so I've been playing the crap out of this. It has been amazing. So what's my problem? Okay, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so this little thing right here, okay? Now, I'm not afraid to show you guys this because I already redeemed the code and you know bought the digital uh, downloads of it, so there you go. Now, you could see the code that you need to use to redeem the digital, <laughs> the, the digital versions of the games. So as you can see, it's readable, but the problem is, look at everything else. Look at everything else. What is the deal with this? Huh? What is the deal with this? Seriously, you could barely read that. I mean, I mean, even with my reading glasses, I have some good ones too. I mean, I still could barely read them. I mean, I had to use a freaking flashlight <laughs> while still trying to read it, which, which helped, but my goodness. Why do you gotta make them so dang teeny? Now, some are probably gonna try and trap me by saying in the comments like, well, you gotta be able to fit it on there, stupid. <laughs> Listen, I don't freaking care, okay? People have to be able to read this, okay? Why don't we learn from, you know, what game, what game developers used to do back in the day when it comes to giving us instructions on how to redeem stuff or really stuff about the game in general. Let's take my favorite game of all time, Resident Evil 2 on the PlayStation 1. Huh? Huh? Okay. So here's what they used to do. So here you go. This is a little booklet. Okay. So as you can see, I mean, look at all this. Look at all this. Thick writing and I mean, just, you, you could read everything. I mean, just come on. I mean, you I mean, starting a mission, blah, 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 blah. It's thick writing on each page. You can actually read it without any frustration. I mean, seriously, how do we go from being able to simply read without any issues from something like this to that? I mean, come on. Now, some are probably going to try and trap me right now and say, well, well you know what, you, you try being the game developer. You try, you try, you know, putting a bunch of harder money into a game and bam, 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 bam. Sometimes you're on a budget and bam, 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 bam. Just shut up, shut up. Okay, l listen, they could afford to do a booklet like that <laughs> to where we could simply read something and they know it. They just don't want to, they're freaking lazy. Oh my gosh. You know, some are probably going to also try and trap me by saying like, well, you know what? I mean, you, you don't need to know how to play the game. I mean, you know, there, there's tutorials whenever you start the game. I mean, it tells you what to press to jump or to punch or to shoot the gun or what, you know, whatever it may be. Yeah, 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 I get all that. Okay, again, that was just a page showing how to redeem something. I get that. Okay, but still, okay, can you at least make it like, like two pages or something like that so we could be able to freaking read it? And you know what's even worse? is 
I actually have to have a chair by my, my big screen because even with a big screen TV, one of those flat screens, when you're going through the tutorials, what's worse is th even in that, the text is incredibly, incredibly tiny. You can't even go into freaking options and make the text huge for the most part. Why? Can you just, I mean, can we just have the option to do that? Can we at least, can we be able to read when it comes to playing the game and going through the, the tutorials too? I mean, this is insane. It sucks that, that whenever it comes to that, I have to have a chair right by my television just so I can read the freaking words for the tutorial on the TV. Freaking stupid, man. Anyway, I don't know what else to say about this whole entire thing. It just annoys the crap out of me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it cracks me up at the same time, but I just, I had to rant about it a little bit because I just, why? Just why? What's the point? Anyway, what do you guys think about the whole thing? Do you think that that's annoying? Do you not think it's annoying? Leave comments down below. Anyway, this has been Metalvania. Keep it metal, baby. <laughs>